How's it going everybody? Adam here from Coding Basics and welcome to tutorial number three in my programming Leap Motion with Java series. Uh, if you're new to this series, you might want to watch the last couple of videos to see how we got all the code we have right now. Right now we have uh, added the Leap Motion external jar library as you can see right here and we have also created a custom listener that uh, we add as the listener for our Leap Motion controller. Uh, first, before we get to programming, how the Leap Motion works. The Leap Motion, if you tear it apart, which I wouldn't recommend doing, but if you do take it apart, you'll see in there two IR cameras. There's also three LED lights. How um, it gets a 3D uh, collection of data. Uh, you can actually look it up. Um, let me. Tr I'll show you if I can. So if you Google leap motion dot pattern, um, and right here, if you look at this video here, you can see all the dots that the leap motion puts off. So the three LED lights put out a, an IR dot pattern and then the IR camera takes pictures um, known as frames. The frames get sent from the Leap Motion device into the computer and then we do all the programming with it. So uh, basically it analyzes the pictures and the dot positionings using complex math. They haven't really said uh, how they, um, you know, how they analyze the data other than it's just complex math, whatever that means. And then they compare the data of the two IR camera pictures and they use the, the two different 2D representations to get a 3D representation. So that's how it works. Now, um, the camera itself takes about almost 300 frames per second. And what we are doing with this method here is programming what happens for each of those frames that we get uh, sent to our computer. And I don't know if I mentioned this at the beginning, but in this video, all we're going to go over is frame data. I'm going to break down the different things we can do with the data from the camera. And the first thing is the frame data. So let's get started. First, we are going to create a frame object. This is one of the uh, objects part of the Leap Motion library. So we're going to create frame. We're going to call it frame and set it equal to controller, which is the parameter this class takes in. Controller.frame. Open close bracket, semicolon. This is the frame that we are getting from the controller. And just some basic things to do with it. Um, I'm just going to print out all the data. You can obviously save the data inside variables and do what you want with it. But we're just going to print this stuff out. So system dot out dot print line. All right. And we are just going to print out some data that the device provides. So each frame has a specific ID. And that is we can get that by calling the frame.id method. And let's keep going. Another thing that we get with a frame is the timestamp. Oops, got to put a quotation mark around that. My bad. All right. Uh, so timestamp. And that is frame dot timestamp method. All right. Next thing we are gonna look at is the number of hands. So this, you're gonna get a number for this one, which will tell you how many hands are detected inside the frame. So frame dot hands. Now that will return. Um, a list of hand objects. So to get the number of hands in there, we're just going to 
call hands dot count. So that'll tell us how many frame or how many hands are in the frame. And then the next thing would be fingers. So the exact same thing. Uh, using the fingers dot count method, we will get um, the number of fingers detected. So, oops. Uh, all right. So frame dot fingers dot count next thing we get is tools so a tool I think I mentioned this in, this in a later video you can hold a pen above your leap motion and it detects that as a tool I believe I uh, read somewhere that it detects chopsticks the best don't know why but supposedly it detects chopsticks a lot easier I've used sharpies and you know sometimes it detects it sometimes it doesn't really depends they definitely got some bugs to work out, but it is, it, it's pretty accurate when it detects this stuff. Uh, so yeah, for the tools thing, sorry uh, for not talking there. Um, for t the number of tools, it's the exact same thing, so frame.tools.count. And then the final thing is the number of gestures. We're going to go over individual gestures in a later tutorial, but this will tell you how many gestures are detected inside the frame. So frame dot gestures, open close bracket dot count. And I put that inside the quotation marks accidentally. All right. So I'm just going to pause the video for a second while I plug in my leap motion control. All right, I'm back. I got the controller plugged in. About to test this program for you guys. Just want to say, um, this on-frame method. It's one of the uh, methods that you have to program for the like with the Leap Motion library, and it's going to be called every time a new frame is sent to the computer. Like I said, there's almost 300 frames taken per second, so you're going to see this console really have messages printed out at a rapid pace. So let's give this a shot. So you'll notice I'm going to about, okay, watch uh, hands and fingers. I'm about to hold my hand over top of the motion sensor right now. So there it's starting to detect one in five of my fingers. I'm going to hold a pen over to see if I can't get it to detect it. Um, it's not wanting to detect it, unfortunately, for some reason. Oh, there you go. So it did finally detect the pen in my hand. You can see the ones there. And you can see the timestamp right here. All right. And also, each frame had its own ID, just adding one on the previous one. And it's not going to show it, but actually, I'll, I'll rerun this again just to show you. Oops. Okay, well, that went way overboard. Um, just wanted to show you that we still have everything in the last video working, so it still recognizes the motion sensor is connected and displays that message. And yeah, so that is all I want to talk about in this video. Next video, we are going to go over um, hand data. This one was frame data. Next one's going to be hand data. Then we'll go into finger data, and then we'll be going into uh, detecting gestures. So I really appreciate you guys watching this video. Remember to leave a comment on the video, maybe letting me know some other tutorial series you want to see. I know quite a few programming languages. I'm going to try to get to as many as I can before the end of this summer. Um, also, like the video, and please give me a subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. It really helped my channel grow. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in my next tutorial.